Hey guys, welcome to another beautiful day here in Bogota, Colombia. I am here with my brand new videographer. His name is Jorge. ¿Cómo están? Bien, bien. Hola, Jorge. And today's goal is to show you guys how to make a travel video. I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about and preaching to the choir, but this is more towards people that are just starting out. They don't even know what camera equipment to use and how to get it. So today we want to show you guys what equipment we have and at the same time, how to use it. So today we're working with the DJI Mavic Pro 2 and we are working with the Insta360 camera. And we are also working with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. And we have Jorge using much heavier equipment, which we're not going to be explaining that part in this video today because that is for a whole separate video. The Sony a7S III is upwards of $4,000 camera. He probably has a thousand or a $2,000 lens and he's using the DJI. Uh, gimbal. So that is for a separate video today. We're just going to show you something super basic so we don't complicate it too much. And at the same time, we're going to show you guys how important it is to diversify the camera equipment. For example, we have Jorge filming me with his Sony a7S III. We also have a cutaway of the 360 camera, which is what I'm pointing to you guys at right now. And then we also have the GoPro Hero 9 which I'm pointing to you guys right now. We have the Rode wireless go-to microphones. We have the transmitter that's on the GoPro. So a lot of the sound that I pick up in my videos, guys, goes straight and it's baked straight into the GoPro Hero 9. We have two of them. We have the Rode wireless go-to, the second one on Jorge. There's multiple sources of audio, which is very important. So without further ado, guys, let's start this beautiful day here in Bogota. The weather is absolutely phenomenal. And I wanna show you guys my journey, a little bit day in the life, also show you guys how to make a travel video. And we'll go to the barber to show you guys how fun and how cheap it is to get a shave here in Bogota. Let's go to the rooftop. We'll show you guys how amazing this view is. Whoa, it is beautiful out here, guys. Absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite views of all of Bogota. And now we're gonna show you guys how to launch the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Make sure guys, super important to always put an SD card in your equipment. Make sure your batteries are charged. Make sure you guys don't have old footage that you don't need in your SD cards. Make sure you dump those on your hard drive because you never know what happens to a drone. This thing is up in the air, it could, anything can happen. So now that we have the remote turned on, we're now going to unload the DJI Mavic Pro 2 extender for your phone. And of course I have a money belt because here in Colombia, you have to be very careful and hide your very expensive things, which I'll probably make a separate video about guys. Safety in Colombia is very important. And now that we have the control on, it's very important guys. We want to make sure you have the DJI app installed. And also you definitely want to have location services. The important thing you wanna do guys is really focus on the settings. What I normally do is shoot in 60 frames per second so that in the edit, you can slow down the footage so that you can have that cinematic effect. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the home is set to the location that you're at so that if the drone is lost, it goes back to this location. Now we're taking off guys. The drone is now up in the air. As a beginner guys, you definitely want to make sure that the drone is safe and locked into position before you guys fly. The other thing is always start recording beforehand. And now if the drone goes up just high enough, it's gonna tell us that the location is set to home. And if it doesn't, you can go into the settings and update the home point manually. Home point has been updated. Please check it out. 
As you can tell, it says that home point has been updated. That is very good news because if the drone flies off, it's gonna come back to this location. So we have Jorge filming me right now. And then we also have the drone flying in the air. And then we also have my GoPro, which is right here. We're gonna cut to the GoPro shot right here, guys. And then we also have the 360 camera, which is right here. These are all cutaway shots. As you can see in the edit right now, we are cutting away to the 360 camera, to the GoPro, and then to the drone. And the most beautiful thing about that, guys, is that you have now a full service production with a one man crew. In this case, it's two men. This is my first time taking on another videographer for my videos. But normally, normally guys, when I'm filming, it's just me. So when you guys watch my videos on YouTube, it really looks like there's more people involved when there really isn't. I just set up the cameras in different locations. So it looks like I have more than one camera operator. So we're gonna, zoom the drone out a little bit further away, show you guys the exterior of the building that we're on. And the cool thing is guys, check it out. If we zoom in right here, we can actually select a portion of the screen. It locks on that physical location and then you can maneuver the drone around the location that you're on. So it really has this amazing cinematic effect which is what you guys see in my videos. The other thing guys, is if you really want to feel safe flying a drone, always find an Airbnb or a hostel or an apartment at a building where you have access to a rooftop because nobody's gonna be bugging you. You know, you get to fly the drone, take it off, you feel free, you can practice, and, uh, and nobody's gonna be bugging you on the streets. You're just free flying, basically. All right, so we've got the shot that we needed. So now, the one shot I really like to do is get uh, like a boomerang shot. It starts with the two people in frame, which is what you see in a lot of my videos. We're gonna get a boomerang shot. It's gonna start here, and then we're just gonna push back and show the view from a distance. And I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. All right, see, now we're cutting to the drone and it has that cinematic effect. And now you get to see all of Bogota, which is really nice. And then whenever you guys move in towards an object, like see where the buildings are right now. All right, so we're gonna bring it back now to where we are. Keep in mind the home point is set, so you don't need to worry. As long as you have the home point set, you can say, bring it back to home. You always want to keep your eye on the drone, guys. There's also a light. The light is perfect because you'll be able to see the drone at night. We're gonna land the drone now, see? All I'm doing is putting the knob down all the way and it's just gonna land successfully. The other thing I wanna talk to you guys about is how important uh, these dead cats are for your microphones. When you're outside, you definitely wanna have a dead cat because the wind is going to interfere with your microphone. I don't know if you guys noticed it in the previous shot, but you might have been able to hear this little wind noise going through the mic. All right, guys, so without further ado, we're gonna take you guys to the Trans Millennia. We're gonna walk into the streets of Bogota, and then we're gonna go to the barber shop and do a little snippet video, and then we're gonna end the day, guys, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so we're ordering the Diddy. Diddy is an application that you can use here in Colombia. It's 6,000 pesos to wherever we're going, which adds up to, I think, a dollar and 50 cents. We're going to Magic Barber Shop, and we're gonna be filming at the barber shop to show you guys how cheap you can get a shave here, which is ridiculous. A shave in the United States costs anywhere from 30 to $100 even. Over here it's $2, a $2, dos dólares para barbaria. All right guys, we're right outside of my building. We're here in Teusaquillo, and we're just about to go to our Uber. So come, follow me. He's gonna go into the back seat, obviously, and he's gonna film from that side. We're going to a part of a neighborhood where it's not the safest, guys. So we have to definitely be careful. The best thing you could do in Bogota is take whatever expensive things you want to bring with you, go in an Uber, get dropped off, and do not walk too much. All right guys, so really cool trick. 
is to take your 360 camera and pop it right outside of the window, which is a really cool trick to get an establishing shot in between your takes. For example, if you're ending a scene, you can use that footage to transition to the next scene. And we'll cut to the footage right now of the 360 camera outside of the window, which you guys can see a little bit of the Bogota. And to the left right here is the Transmillennio. Although we didn't get a chance to visit the Transmillennio, right here to the left is right there. That's where the bus system is. And it gets really crazy, guys. Sometimes you can't even fit in the Transmillennio. And by the way, guys, whenever you're stopped, whenever the car stops, you wanna put your equipment back inside and you wanna roll up the window because you never know. Safety-wise here in Colombia, it's not like the United States. You have to be very careful because people snatch your things and all that stuff. All right, anyways, that's what I wanted to show you guys and we'll see you guys at the barbershop. Magic barbershop, we finally here. Show you guys what I've been doing this whole time I've been in Colombia. I go to this barbershop and I get a $2 shave, which is 10,000 pesos every time I come here. I probably get a shave two or three days a week. So without further ado, come on, let's go to the barber shop. We may have to wait just a little bit to get a shave, but hey, come on, let's go. Let's have fun. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Good, so this is Chico. How y'all doing? Chico is the owner of Magic Barbershop. He not only runs his business, but he supports people along the way in running his business. Thank you. All of these guys right here, especially this guy, this guy's my friend. He's like one of my favorite guys, my, my main barber. He hires a lot of guys from Venezuela so that he can support them and so that they can support their families. Thank you so if you guys are watching this video, you guys got to come to Bogota and come to Magic Barber Shop. Support the business, well, support definitely. all of these guys. These guys are really hard working. Super appreciate them. And uh, yeah, sounds good. So we're going to get a shave myself. Looks like it's a little bit busy right now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll show you guys how some of these guys do the shaves here in Bogota. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for those nice words. He's an awesome person as well. Uh, yeah, you guys, whenever you guys in Bogota, I'm in downtown Bogota. I'm on uh, 10 Avenue with 22 Street. And uh, definitely an English uh, friendly place. And uh, look forward for you guys to come over. And thank you so much for everything, guys. What I'm doing right now is I'm using my 360 camera. I have my GoPro filming right over there. I have the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is attached to his lapel. I also have a Rode Wireless Go 2 attached to Chico. And then we also have beautiful Jorge, Hermoso Jorge, filming on a Sony A7S III. And that's about it, guys. This is how you make a travel edit. And we're also going to be flying the drone again from his shop to get an exterior establishing shot of the place. All right, guys, we're at the shop now. And um, we're gonna get an exterior of the shop. I highlighted the location, so. And then what I like to do is do a close-up, and then we'll bring the drone out to do a wide establishing shot so that you can always do cutaways. This is how you're gonna diversify your videos. You always wanna do like three or four different shots. I mean, that is just a majestic view, as you guys can tell. Turn the drone around. And then you wanna get another establishing shot going the other way. As you can tell guys, I'm only filming for maybe three minutes. You don't need that much footage. You don't need to be flying the drone like for um, five minutes. It could just be like a few minutes and just get a couple shots straight backwards, maybe a loop around shots and still shots. And that's basically it. So now we're gonna bring the drone back and that's it. And we got a police in here. The police are very kind as well, come on in. I like the color scheme that the police have here. You could really see them. They're established, you know who the police are. As he's shaving me, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about some inspirational stuff. And so normally my videos are about life coaching and trying to get you to live your best version. And today I wanna to talk about living every day and being so patient with yourself. A lot of 
the times we think we have so many high expectations of where we need to be in our life, but have you ever thought about exactly right now in this moment is exactly where we need to be? You watching this video, you can be curious about where you need to be in your life based on how other people are inspiring you about how to live your own life. And it's important for you to put action into your plan. Whenever you guys have a goal, apply yourself towards that goal every day. How do you think Chico came up with this barbershop? He had an idea, he executed a plan, he took action, and I'm sure over the course of the many years he's run his business, he's seen so many different things evolve with his business. The first step is don't compare yourself to other people that are already successful in that area because that's comparing yourself to all the hard work they've put into their life, into their goal, and you're basically saying, I want to speed up to get to where they, where they are at, you know? So for you, sometimes you've got to shut off the social media. You've got to shut off the noise in your mind. Shut off what other people are doing. Focus on your goal, your individual goal, and understand that sometimes it takes years for your goal to evolve. Just imagine if you applied 3% of your energy towards your goal every day. Imagine where you're going to be in like a year two years, three years. When I started my production company five years ago, I knew nothing about video production. I just had a fuck it mentality. I just said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna fake it until I make it. And here I am doing, even right now, this video that we're creating right now, I'm learning something new about it. I don't know everything about everything. I'm always learning. So that's the beauty about goals and inspiration. Follow your dreams and know it's possible. It's impossible to fail when you apply yourself towards your goal. And that's it guys, end of the video. And at the end of the day, I got a really nice shave from Chico. Check it out, really clean cut. And uh, yeah, super grateful for today, super grateful for Jorge, for uh, this video that's being made. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a beautiful day guys. Lento. Acercándose a mi cuerpo y siento oh, oh, no, por ti latiendo adentro mi corazón mamá lento oh, oh no, tu movimiento lento acercándose a mi cuerpo y siento oh, oh no, por ti latiendo adentro mi corazón, mamá. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I travel around the world and I share my experience, my strength, and my hope with the people I encounter every single day. Travel and journey with me around the world as I see the most beautiful parts of this mundo. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and remember that you are loved.